Dear friends, welcome back to my channel. So we are discussing the model question papers for the mathematics subject for the EC stream. EC engineering stream. Its subject code is BMAT E EC three zero one. Right. So I have completed the uh, three questions from the module first from the model question paper set two. So I have provided the link in the description box. You can go through and watch those three problems. Okay, that will definitely help you in the examination and try to grab the uh, what we call concepts on the four year series. Right. So today I will discuss about this particular question. Question number one a of the model question paper set one. Find the Fourier expansion of the function f of x is equal to mod of x in minus pi to minus pi comma pi interval. Okay. So this is the general formula. This is the general Fourier expan uh, expansion for the interval minus pi to pi. So this is where f of x is equal to a naught upon two plus summation of n is equal to one running from uh, sorry n running from one to infinity a n cos of n x plus summation of n is equal to one to infinity b n sin of n x. So you have to make these formulas in the separate a four sheet so that try to <coughs> practice on the daily basis these formulas. You will definitely remember these formulas from the Fourier series, right? So let us solve it. So in these type of problems uh, where you find out the uh, intervals minus pi to pi, you have to check the given function is even or odd. Okay. So how to check the given function is even or odd? So there is a uh, condition f of minus x should be equal to f of x positive x means. So what is the value of f of x? That is definitely the mod of x. If I take here f of minus x in a state of x i will take minus x so what i should write here that is mod of minus x okay so what is the mod of minus x value so whatever the value you will put uh, either it will be negative or positive in the mod inside the mod you will get always positive so you are getting as mod x so what is the mod x actually it is f of x so it is equal to f of x so i am getting here f of minus x is equal to f of x that is the condition f of minus x is equal to f of x if you are uh, what we call getting like this so this is definitely the even function so this is the uh, way how to find out the odd and even function okay if you are getting f of minus x is equal to minus times f of x that is the odd function but in this case it is the even function so i can write down f of x is even function and you should remember here for the even function bn is always equal to zero okay this b1 is always equal to zero so no need to find out this term so this will be eliminated only you have to calculate a naught by 2 and a n value right so let us calculate these Fourier coefficients now <clears throat> there is a formula for a naught which is equal to 2 upon pi 0 to pi okay x dx <clears throat> so this is the formula for a naught in this uh, Fourier series expansion okay so let us calculate it first of all let us break this function f of x is equal to mod of x in two uh, two intervals here so i can write it on the side so i can write f of x is equal to minus x i can write inside the mod minus x also so you will get positive value so uh, its interval will be minus pi less or equal to x less or equal to zero and also you have to take x value your interval will be zero less or equal to x less or equal to pi means minus pi to pi i will just break it into the two intervals that is minus pi and zero and zero to pi value okay <clears throat> now let us put the value over here okay so you will get 2 upon pi so okay it will be equal to 2 upon pi integration of 0 to pi x uh, what you have to, uh, yes yes it is exact it is actually the f of x value over here then f of x we, we are taking here x from 0 to pi okay so i will take this x dx now what will be the integration of this 2 by pi integration of x is always equal to x square upon 2 so its limits will shift from 0 to pi over here right so this is your 2 and 2 will get cancelled <clears throat> you will get x square 1 upon pi this is your x square 0 to pi okay now put the limits upper limit minus lower limit you will get 1 upon pi into x means instead of x you have to take upper limit as pi that will be your pi square minus lower limit is 0 so 0 okay this is your pi square minus 0 is pi square so pi and square will get cancelled you will remain with pi so a naught is equal to pi value <clears throat> but what uh, we need in the formula in this particular series expansion a naught upon 2 okay so you can simply write which implies a naught upon 2 is equal to pi upon 2 this is your first value now we have to calculate a n value okay so for a n a n is equal to 2 upon pi integration of 0 to pi f of x cos of 
an x dx this is the general formula for a n so i can calculate it a n is equal to 2 upon pi integration of 0 to pi what is the f of x value x cos of n x dx now you have to apply bernoulli's rule of integration apply bernoulli's rule bernoulli's rule okay so in the previous videos i have discussed it so in this also i will just try to explain it so a n is equal to 2 by pi you have to integrate this term now with the help of Bernoulli's rule so uh, keep this x as, as it is okay integration of cos of nx it is sine of nx upon n this is the integration of cos of nx right then minus it is of the formula from Bernoulli's rule okay first make uh, sorry keep this x as it is integration of this now minus differentiate this x so what is the differentiation of x that is 1 right and again the integration of this term what you are getting here now you have to double integrate it so integrate sine of nx by n it is always equal to minus cos of nx upon n square this is the integration for this term and limits will be shift from 0 to pi i hope you are getting now a n is equal to 2 upon pi in the previous videos also i have uh, told you that wherever you will find sine of nx when you are just putting upper limit minus lower limit it will become sine of n pi right so it will always be equal to zero so you have to terminate the sine of nx term you will get minus into minus plus cos of nx upon n square right then <clears throat> zero to pi will be your limit so you will get two upon pi n square cos of n sorry cos of nx this is your zero to pi a n a n is equal to two upon pi n square this will be your cos of upper limit minus lower limit means instead of x you have to put pi value cos of n pi minus cos of n 0 n into 0 means this will become cos of 0 so a n is equal to 2 upon pi n square cos of n pi minus cos of 0 is always equal to 1 i can take minus common from this particular term you will get minus 2 by pi n square 1 here then minus cos of n pi okay i hope this is clear see here i have just taken minus common i will get one minus into one is minus one then minus into minus is plus cos of n pi you will get again same term okay so a n is equal to minus two by pi n square one minus this cos of n pi is always equal to minus one raised power n okay instead of cos of n pi i can write minus one raised power n this is your a n value now you have to put these values in the expansion so see here your expansion is this this one f of x is equal to therefore Fourier series expansion Fourier series expansion will be okay this is your f of x f of x is equal to a naught by 2 what is the a naught by 2 value we have calculated it it is pi by 2 plus summation of n running from 1 to n n running from 1 to infinity what is the a n value a n value we are calculating here that is minus 2 by by n square my sorry 1 minus minus 1 raised power n okay and also this cos of nx so cos of nx this is the Fourier series expansion for the mod of x over here okay when f of x is given mod of x and uh, intervals are minus pi to pi so this is your final Fourier series expansion for this question i hope this is clear so dear friends make sure you will share this video to all your friends who are facing difficulties in mathematics subjects so don't worry you have to practice very well in these particular questions so